Whoa. Okay. Guess you guys want more. Salutations! My name is Eclipse, EQ for short, and welcome to 200 Days in Minecraft Modded Hardcore. This is gonna pick up right where we left off from 100 Days, so if you haven't watched that already, go do that and come back. We'll wait. You back? Good. Now, I'll keep this brief. In these 200 days, I have one goal. Conquer the Twilight Forest or die trying. This video took a lot of effort to make and a couple sleepless nights, so if you could leave a like and a comment, that would be amazing. Oh, and make sure to subscribe, we're trying to hit 10K. Now enough with the chit chat, let's continue to day 101. Alright, back in the hardcore world for day 101. Right off the bat, I want to give a shout out to this comment that told me to craft a glider. Combine that with the multi-jump enchant and the player launcher and I can just fly forever. I spent the rest of the day getting acclimated to my new heights. There was a cloud base up here and it gave me a little pet. One that I probably will never use. As night fell, I found another one of those pillars. It was guarded by the worst spiders ever, cave spiders, but I managed to kill them and steal all the blocks. Day 102, I had an encounter with a big dragon, a big, big, large boy, big, big, large, and I ran away into this desert temple, where I disarmed the bombs and found some cool loot. Later that night, I made a very interesting discovery. Everything I touch explodes. I don't know either. I found out why. It's because my chest plate is enchanted with unstable two, and now it's being unstable. Go figure. So we're gonna need to get me a new t-shirt. I picked up my old chest plate and headed to the end. We're gonna get into some dangerous situations for these 200 days, so I wanna be as unkillable as possible. So we're gonna need a soul stone. These are hard to make, and the first thing we're going to need is purple block from the end fortress. I also looted the fortress while I was there. Didn't find anything too amazing, but I picked up the elytra. One dimension down, and it's time to head to the nether. Now, this took a while to load for some reason. I don't know. But I made my way through the portal and headed back to the wither fortress. And I killed withers all day. And with the luck of my looting three sword, I got all three wither skulls in one go. That's right, we're gonna need to kill the wither. Again. Day 105, I did that. As I spawned the wither, mine always act weird and run away from me. Maybe it's because they know what they're about to face. And dead. Rest of the day, I farm potatoes. I promise there's a reason for this. Because at the end of the day, give me this uh, table, using every parts of Minecraft, the wither, so the nether, the end, dungeons with an apple, trading, uh, and ores with an emerald, and farming. I can make a soul stone. Saves you from death while carrying, single use only. But I'm gonna need more of these, so I went back into the nether and made a huge mistake. While fighting all the mobs that spawned in this dungeon, I accidentally hit a zombie pigman. This is a problem because I got to meet their leader, the Grizelm Beast. The Gilgamic Beast was Gilgamic and beastly. I've never seen that before. What the fuck? You know, this isn't working. I have a better plan. I grabbed wither spawners and I went back home. 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 My world corrupted. Look, I ran out of space while I was trying to load in some new chunks from dimensions and the loading corrupted. I had to flash the world and everything's now here and fixed except my old markers on the old world were gone, so... That's fun. I have no waypoints anymore. I've got more space now on my PC though, so let's keep going. I spent the night of 107 building a wither spawner. Same thing day 108, but I realized wither skellies don't spawn on water, so I'm gonna need to improvise. I built mob fans that should hopefully push the withers into one spot. And look at that, it works perfectly. Almost as if I've done this in a previous timeline. I grinded withers all day from the brand new grinder. Then, once night fell, I took out all the withers that I had spawned. However, one of them skimped out of me and I only got two nether stars, which is annoying. Oh well, I pretty much have an infinite amount of withers at my disposal now, so it's all good. We set goals. Ignore the animal farm, that never comes to fruition. Then I spent the rest of the day expanding my camp with dirt. I had to stop at nightfall though, because I didn't like the place and I don't want mobs to spawn. Day 111, I finished up the expansion and headed back to the end. I wanted to do some exploring and soul vials are mainly what I'm looking for. But as I was heading back, I found a tower and said, fuck it, we're exploring. Oh, I meant frick. 
Sorry, according to all these comments, my channel is designed for kids and made for little babies and I'm not allowed to swear. I'll never fucking do that again. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Anyways, these towers are pretty simple. They have two mob spawners per floor and a chest in the middle of them. However, once you get up high, the chest won't open and you'll anger the battle tower golem. He'll proceed to wreak havoc and ruin your day. So he's gotta die. But when he does, the tower implodes on itself. So let's just sit back and watch the fireworks. The next day was chore day. I continued my Ethereum farm, killed Shoker so I had free soul vials, stared at a dragon angrily. It was a good time. Ignore the pin building here. There's nothing to see here. I didn't do this. No, this didn't happen. Shush, don't shut up. Don't worry. And I'm jump scared by a scarecrow here. That's not fun. I did not like this. No, no, thank you. I ended day 113 by heading into the nether to get nether brick. As I was collecting some, I found a couple ancient debris as well. This could be useful for something. Still down here. Not down here anymore. I'm making a platform that goes across the river and a zombie helped me throughout the night. I finished up by adding some dirt. I think it gives it a rustic feel. Nah, I'm just playing. The real reason there's dirt here is because it's a portal. Well, a portal in the making. In the meantime, I placed another portal right next to it because this is where all my portals will go. If you watched my previous 100 days, you knew this was coming, but it's time for organization. This time, I'm smarter though. And I made a ton of sacks of holding to speed up the process, but nothing speeds up the process quite like some editing. Wait, 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 rewind that. Owlicious was tormented to death. This is not fair. <sighs> this is beginning to look like a graveyard. Rest in peace, Owlicious. Only a couple people got the reference. Just look at how beautiful this place is now. It's all labeled, everything's in storage crates. Oh, I love it. Now that that's settled, this is something that I should have made a long time ago. Using the world's weirdest recipe, we can build an inventory cake. It doubles my inventory space, and I don't know why I don't have this already. Adding shulkers to the storage room. Now, while that grass is growing around the portal, I'm gonna do a little bit of explosive renovation. Can you guess on a building yet? I'm not gonna tell you. You have to guess. Ha! <laughs> if you guessed out loud, I gotcha, idiot. I can't hear you. This is a YouTube video. All right, fine. It's an enchantment room that actually looks good for once. And on day 123, I fixed up my armor in it. Okay. It's time. No more fucking around. We're gonna make the portal. I need roses and a diamond. And it just so happens I have those. Place the roses around the portal and throw a diamond in and boom, it's ready. Let's jump in. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Twilight Forest. This place is mystical, and to say the least, there's a lot here. As I was jumping around, I found a fortified arena of some sorts. Heading closer spawns the Naga, a snake-like boss that can break blocks that I'm standing on. But with the power of my stupidly fast bow, I took him out no problem. I wonder why that was so easy. Uh oh, well, let's do something actually a little challenging. I found a tower in this dimension, and you know I'm looting the entire thing. Oops, I pissed off the golem. He blew up the loot at the top, but I ended his life, so who really had the last laugh? Afterwards, I was jumping around into new biomes, and the rain started hurting me. Fucking rain, rain's my enemy now. Speaking of enemies, here I am standing above a dragon's den. Look at her, she's sleeping. So, I'm gonna do something stupid. See, dragons have chests full of loot in their caves and I want them. And if I don't wake her up, I'll be able to get at them no problem. We'll call this anxiety simulator. Is it just me or does she look specifically awake right there? Nope, she's still asleep, we're in the clear. Not asleep, not asleep. Dude, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh, last stand two is amazing, but I used 30 fucking levels there. That was 30, I think, I don't know. I can't count, but I, I, I swear the dragon looked asleep and then it very much was not asleep. Side note, I started riding the dragon as it was killing me, oh, what the hell? Okay, dragons are still a problem. Let's downgrade back to Naga. Only problem with that is Naga just kind of glitched out and I couldn't hit them, so I gave up and went back to the overworld. Day 126, I finished some quests and got a flamethrower. A flame thrower. Flame thrower. 
I'm gonna be spending a lot of time in the Twilight Forest, so on day 127, I thought I'd build a little base here. Day 128, I finished up the little base. Woke up the next morning, got some breakfast, and killed the Naga. Typical Tuesday. Afterwards, I found the dark forest and tried to enter, but I was blinded when I tried to go in. But a little troll guy dropped a book letting me know some cryptic bullshit. The book didn't help, so I spent day 130 googling what to do here. I also found out that these thorns and the thornlands hurt, so don't touch them. Got a glimpse of a giant fuck-off castle in the distance, and now I'm even more eager to see what's going on in this place. As I was heading back home, I found another tower that's already been destroyed. I wonder how that happened. At the top of this tower, though, I got this chest plate, which allows me to breathe underwater. So we take those. I need XP for enchants. So I headed back to my mob grinder, and also, while that was happening, I researched Supremium. It turns out the Supremium is actually charmed, meaning you can't enchant it. So we're actually going to go with Superium in instead. It's also cheaper to make. When I got home, we had a prison break. Jerry and Terrell broke out of their home, and I had to lay down the law. Day 134, I needed gravel, sand, and clay, and all of that is down into water. So that chest plate's gonna come in handy. While I was collecting the stuffs, I found a crate in a hole that led me to a buried treasure map. However, when I went to collect this treasure, I couldn't find it, so I marked the map for later. Also, my chameleons broke out again! Why? I I embezzled your place with diamond blocks. You should love me. With all that clay, gravel, and sand, I can make seared bricks. And now I can make a forge. But to do that, we're gonna need a platform. And once the platform was built, I made the forge. It smelts things so fast. This can also smelt ores that I haven't been able to smelt before, like obsidian. And using this tool forge, I can make an obsidian pickaxe, which is strong enough to mine cobalt. That blue stuff we found in the nether? Yeah, that. But before we can do that, our good friend the Undertaker decided to be an ass and show up again. So I had to take care of him all night. I tried to get cobalt and ardite whilst in the nether, but I had a couple issues. And here I got really close to dying. The green ore I'm mining around is explosive, and if something ignites it, it will work just like TNT, and all those little ores will go off at once and just wreck me in my last stand XP. Oh, hey, conveniently timed gassed. When did you get here? Got back and spent the rest of the day grinding wither skeletons. We need a lot of nether stars for projects. I gotta say, I am beautiful. Okay, spell time. I've kind of been slacking on learning spells, so... Metamorphosis, full water breathing, summon snow golem, summon zombie, snowball, thunderbolt, and telekinesis, which took forever to get, by the way. I got more cobalt and ardite, and I set myself up to venture back into the twilight forest. This time, I know what I'm doing. Day 140, it's time to fight the Lich King. Now, the Lich King usually resides at the top of his tower, which you're supposed to climb, but my player launcher had other ideas, so I broke through his roof and began the fight. So he teleported away and made clones of himself. I did not... I did not suspect that. He has pulled a fast one on me. He has most definitely schmooved. This is not good. Where'd he go? You know, we're supposed to fight in your room, but instead you wanted to be an asshole, and now I'm fighting on top of the roof. After a while, I managed to find him on a random tree. Hit him a couple times and he teleported away again. Let's play a game. Can you find the Lich King? The fake ones are darkened and the real one is brighter. Nope, me fucking either. So I left and came back and he's just there hiding under a tree being covered by dark shading. That's cheating. Eventually, I found out you can just hit him with his own projectile to drop his shields, like this is Ocarina of Time. Afterwards, his actual health bar appears and then you can just wail on him. And Yahtzee, got him. He dropped his trophy and the world has finally opened up. Afterwards, I went to loot the tower and had a little scare here. Why yes, I am a dumbass. The next day, I made a magic map focus and made my merry way to the mystical Mino Shroom Mountains to mar the man that makes moves. And on day 142, I found the labyrinth where the Mino Shroom resides. And after finding a spot to mine under the bedrock, I finally found him. And he kind of scared me by breaking down this wall. But with the power of quick draw, the Mino Shroom has fallen. Found a Hydra, gonna kill it. Didn't kill it! Ran away, and I went to sleep in the real world that night. I've got a project to make, and sand and gravel is what it takes, so that's what we're getting today. At nightfall, I got roses and black flowers for the dye. Turned my concrete solid the next day, and started my build. I don't know why, but I had the strangest urge to tell you guys that I have a Twitch. I stream there pretty frequently and play tons of stuff, including everyone's favorite block game. I also have this weird, instinctual urge to tell you that you should follow it and come hang out in our streams. 
Weird. What's not weird whatsoever, though, is me killing another wither. whoop de doo I need a star to build the Beneath Teleporter. And that's what I did. But my chameleons came down here with me, so I had to protect them with my life. Oh, you are so grounded when we finally get back above ground. Day 148, I made the Beneath Portal, and as soon as I surfaced, I realized this is gonna be bad. You need Osmium from this dimension for space travel. That's something I wanna try for 300 days, but as I was collecting some, a zombie hit me, and I saw that he has 180 health. That's eight times the normal amount. Nope, 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 nope. Later, I opened a black market container and got a parrot egg. I named him Lucille. Everyone, say hi to Lucille. Ha! Gotcha again. This is a video. You're not supposed to talk to it. I went on an adventure. I'm sick of staying at home. I think most of us can relate. On said adventure, I found a village with some houses made partially of ice, and I wonder why. Oh, it's because it's an ice dragon! That's cool! Get it. By the end of night 150, I was flying home and found an ice spike plains biome, which is one of the rarest biomes, and a yeti that I don't want to fuck with. So I went home. Sometimes there's no place like it. After that scare, I think it's time we start investing in some better gear, especially if I'm gonna kill a Hydra soon. You heard that, we're killing a Hydra. Oh hey, corrupted chorus fruit. I wonder if you'll be useful. Now I'm in the end and we're looking for two things. Inferium essence, cause getting it here will be faster than farming it, and chorus flowers, which you can find on top of chorus plants. Still getting Inferium, but now I have a night vision helmet made so you guys can see this invigorating footage. I'm just gonna talk over me making this and speed up because it takes forever, but using surplus amounts of Inferium, we can make Superium. Then, throwing gems into the mix, we can make a Superium Core and presto, Superium Sword. I spent the rest of day 153 combining books with my new sword. I had to use the books because Superium is really, really expensive to make as you can see. And at day 154, I made Sorty Mark II. Then a zombie spawned in my house so I can test it. And, oh, she's powerful. I decided why stop there and made a superior bow. I spent all day enchanting it till I ran out of XP and had to go back to the end to farm some more. Because of the XP boost three enchant on my pickaxe, mining in the end is the quickest way to get to level 100 over and over and over. The same can be said for the nether, kinda, but the real reason I'm here is because I need more ancient debris, and there it is. Using that, we can make EQ's dick pick, Mark II. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I spent the whole next three days enchanting and trying to get quick draw on this bow, but it just didn't happen. I got two stacks of obsidian. I need this to make new armor and it took forever, so I entertained myself. It's fine. I'm having two stacks of obsidian. Where the fuck did you shoot me behind? I need to fucking kill you all the time and go back to the obsidian. I'm mine. I need two stacks of obsidian. I need two. I need two. I also need amber, which I found over in the mountains. With all that together, we can create crystallized obsidian armor. And after a night of enchanting, this is what we got. My helmet. Fire protection three, last stand two, respiration three, unbreaking three, and soulbound three. My chest plate. Unbreaking three, soulbound three, last stand two, and protection three. My pants. Unbreaking three, soulbound three, last stand two, magic protection four, and lightning resistance. My boots. Multi-jump three, last stand two, depth strider three, magic protection three, and feather falling four. It's so beautiful. So yeah, maybe now we can take down a hydra. And a hydra is what we're gonna fight. But before I head back to the twilight forest, I need to get a couple more levels. I don't feel comfortable unless I have at least 50 levels for Last Stand 2 at all times. So I mined some gems in the end and I headed back. In the Twilight Forest, using my map, I was able to find the Hydra pretty easily and gave him a kiss for good luck and totally not because I misclicked. All right, Hydra time. So anyways, I started blasting. Took out my bow and started the DPS on this guy. He seems to be able to heal, but my sword and shield should do plenty of damage. Also, you can hit the fire he shoots at you, back at him, like this is the Lich King. And check that damage he's doing. This is why I got new armor. Note to self, don't get bit by a Hydra. I totally wasn't freaking out here, by the way. I just uh, uh, really wanted to see what the menu looked like. Yeah, yeah that's it. Fuck it, arrow spam. This actually ended up working, and the Hydra started to die. Once the Hydra was slain, I picked up its trophy and its meat, which heals 36 hunger. How? We get a max of 24, like, even with the saturation mod. 
Once I got home, I found out that Jerry followed me to this dimension, so I guess this is his home now. No time to waste, though. I headed into the dark forest and found the entrance to the stronghold. With the Hydra dead, I can now enter, and I placed a trophy on top that let me through the barrier, and the search was on. The Knight's Tomb is what I'm looking for, and it's behind a lot of iron bars, which is apparently impossible to fucking locate. While searching through this place, though, I picked up Night Metal, which we need for, uh things. Here I am using that dumb technique where I scrutinize a map for 30 minutes trying to find the stronghold. And here it is! And, uh, I'll just show you how the fight went. Was really easy and I see free obsidian here and you already know I'm gonna need that so I spent the rest of day 164 collecting it. Fuck it. I can't wait any longer. I'm making a portal gun. I need another star. Check. Ender dust? Check. Night metal? Check. REP? Check. And diamantine. Oh. These crystals can be found in these houses in villages. So I went searching and after a full day of searching I think it might have just been faster to just make an empower however you do that. And I wonder if... It actually works! I was pretty proud of myself. Oh my god, I'm a genius. Oh, it worked. Oh, I'm a genius. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm a genius. Oh my god, I'm a genius. Holy shit, the biggest brain man. Biggest brain man. Man with the largest brain. Smallest testicles, but largest brain. Oh my god, yes! And with that, I have made my portal gun. And I can't get it to work. I'll have to figure this out later. Sad face. I found a very special monument in the swamp on day 167, and this is where I'll be getting a talisman. I have to kill all these druids, and they have a chance to drop one of four pieces, and by the end of the day, this happened. Taking that talisman and right-clicking on a tree with it makes the between- No! My Gerald! Why does everything named Gerald die? <coughs> I've ruined my voice. <coughs> that bit was not worth it. With a heavy heart, I headed back to a savanna I found and tried to mine. Why? Well, I still haven't forgot about that compressor chest, and we need a ruby to open it, and they can be found in the savanna. Hence, savanna. Problem though, a cyclops tried to step on me, and I'm not into that, so it's time to fight. This fight was easy. The power of my quick drop bow is too much for this loser. I got this man to like 200 health left, and went in for the kill when... Holy shit. He just snapped my neck and broke all my armor. The only reason I lived was because of the soul stone. Not even Last Stand could save me there. I managed to kill him, but now I have no armor besides that tide chest plate and the sun's going down. I had to schmoove, and so did I. I jumped all the way home trying to be as safe as possible. But the luck of the stars was with me and I made it home, put on my old armor, and sat there fuming for the rest of the night. I had this armor for like, what, like eight days? Eight Minecraft days. And he, he snapped my neck and then the armor just poofs, it disappears. Okay, buddy. But of course I couldn't catch a break, but my player launcher could. So I headed back to the nether to grab some glowstone to craft a new one. As I was trying to head back, two boss salamanders blew up my portal and I was kind of boned. I had to kill both of them and find a way to relight the portal. Luckily, my engraved thunder will do the trick. And after a couple of good shots, I was able to come back home. Luckily, my engraved thunder will do the trick, and after a couple of good shots, I was able to come back home. Now back to the savannah with significantly less cyclops in it. And oh my god, is that another dungeon? Holy shit! Simon Says Part 2 Electric Boogaloo, motherfuckers! This took the rest of the day, and I lost at the last level again. Next time, I'm gonna win one of these. I didn't win anything interesting except some despair bricks, which might be useful. I don't really know. But I'm sure some of you will tell me in the comments. Okay, now it's time to mine, like I planned to do before the Cyclops rudely interrupted, and after not too long, I found exactly what I was looking for, the rare ruby. Seizure warning here, I kinda got excited. Oh my god, that was a long shot, but it actually frickin' worked. 
I made the sapphire key and ruby key and opened the compressor chest. It had some dope stuff in it, but the best things were the angel blessed coin, the metal keys, and a white pearl, which I can use as a wishing well coin, basically. The next day was spent completing quests, and I got the chunky cheese token from one of them. This token lets me open a portal to Ratlantis. No, I'm not joking, but if you want to see what's behind this portal, you're going to have to wait for 300 days. Also, throwing the pearl in the wishing well gave me a free nether star, so that was pretty sick. Remember that corrupted chorus fruit? What's that? Oh, foreshadowing. Were you here this whole time? I used the corrupted chorus fruit to find the secret chest that was on the map and found another Simon Says game. Oh shit, okay. All right, look, I'm gonna write all this down this time. I want to win. I want to just win it. When it gets to that really crazy one, that, that, that it always just, I, no, you can, no one can remember that. How am I gonna, I, I need to write this down. I spent the rest of the day playing through this game and getting lackluster prizes. I used the corrupted chorus fruit to find another dungeon and looted the whole place. It went really well until a cave troll spawned and remember how I was wondering how much damage they do? The answer's all the damage, not fair. What's cool though is one of the chests held a heart container which upped my max health by one. Let's go! 25 hearts. Insert Zelda sound effect here. Now after all that adventuring, I need to do some organization. So that's what happened for the next few days. Honestly, I think it's safer that way. Oh, and here I was playing with a grapple hook and got stuck in the wall, so that was fun. Day 174, organization. Day 175, organ, no wait, wait, I'm done. Actually, today I made a silver fishing rod and tried to trick it out with some cool enchants, but I kind of messed up here and made a million fishing rods and knives. Uh, whatever. I made a dock and then fished for the rest of the day. I spent all of day 176 waiting for wither skellies to pile up and eating fish to hopefully gain more health. That didn't happen, but the game crashed, so that's cool. Killed wither. Got Tato, made soul stones. You know how this goes by now. Made more obsidian armor because my other set mysteriously vanished somehow. I just realized I haven't named my shovel. Well, this one's for the fans. Okay, it's time to venture back into the Twilight Forest. The next boss on this list is the Alpha Yeti who resides in the snow forest, so I went over there. But he has a base with a lot of minions, so I sniped him all day until I felt comfortable spawning him. Where I did the same thing with him. Not the most honorable fight, but hey, I lived. Entering the Twilight Glacier, I found her palace, the Snow Queen, with the most beautiful blocks I've ever seen. Bars? But when I tried to mine them, they broke about as fast as obsidian, so let's neutralize this place first. I was forced to walk in the front door and greet the residents with Sorty Mark II. In one of those chests, though, I found an ice bow with power four. You might be useful. Okay, this is taking too long. Using my player launcher and a lot of persistence, I broke in the top of the Snow Queen's temple and begun the fight with her. Now, you may be the queen of this land, but have you met my glowy electric wand? But said electric wand was too strong and she didn't drop her trophy upon death. So now I have to look for another castle. I think Engrave Thunder deaded her too hard. She didn't drop anything. Did I complete the quest for it, maybe? Hold on. I did, but it, uh, it didn't give me this, yeah. While doing so, I came across a giant fuck off tower. This just so happens to be where I need to go next. This is the castle of the Yergast, and he's about to meet my player launching ass. <laughs> Bars, wait, I didn't even realize that. That's good. This is the castle of the Yergast, and he's about to meet my player launching ass. I climbed up, <laughs> that's my favorite line of the script. I climbed up the castle on top and here he is. He spawns both acid rain and his children, but with the power of my bow, he went down pretty easily. Got his trophy and found another snow queen to take her trophy as well, this time with 100% less engraved thunder. Afterwards, I headed back to my twilight base and got the dusk flame hex from a quest. It's basically a dark fire version of engraved thunder. Ooh. The next day I was at home and had an idea. What if I light netherrack on fire with dusk flame? Does it burn purple forever? Survey says yes, it does. Now I know what I'm building next. Also, side note, I've been trying to get villagers to breed and they just won't do it. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So I may be kind of copying Luke the Notable with this flame of life, but mine is purple, so I win. Love you, Luke. Don't hate me. I lit the chalice of life and I found out I could walk in the flames, so that's pretty cool. Back in the twilight forest real fast and check out this cloud giant house thing. All these skins here are just me which is oddly flattering and terrifying. Yeah, whatever, they need to die anyway. And they dropped the giant's pickaxe and sword. Hmm. So about that bow I got from the Snow Queen's temple. I enchanted it and now this is what it does. It gives the frostbitten effect, which makes it to where you can barely move and it lights the victim on fire and withers them. I think all those effects combined might be the reason this bow becomes my main now. It's now day 187 and I wanna go out on one last venture. 
I haven't gone into the sea, and I want to find some more heart containers. I found a pirate ship, which was a good start, but I almost died falling into a pit of mobs. This was too close for comfort. And I set the whole place on fire. Great. It's kind of a blessing, though, because the fire made me accidentally break a barrel that had tons of rare shit in it. I didn't even know you could break these. Fuck. The next day, I found a guardian dungeon and took out an elder guardian that gave me mining fatigue. That asshole. Also, I placed the shulker box here to load it up, and I went to break it, and, uh... I might have made a mistake. Hey, what are you little guys doing up here? Oh shit, that's a dragon. I see, you're hiding. Soon after, I found another pirate ship that also had a heart container, which brings my total heart containers on this adventure to two. So that means my health is 27. Oh, and in this sunken ship, we found an iron strong box to take home. It had pumpkin pie in it, so that's neat. I wrapped up the night by finishing my armor and looking at my new drip. And after one last round of enchanting, this is what I've got. My helmet, Soulbound 3, Last Stand 2, Unbreaking 3, Protection 4. My chest plate, Shock Protection 3, Unbreaking 3, Thorns 1, Last Stand 2. My pants, Protection 4, Repellent 4, Last Stand 2, Soulbound 3, Unbreaking 3. My boots, Multi Jump 4, Soulbound 3, Protection 3, Unbreaking 3, Last Stand 2. Checkmate. We've got a lot done today and a lot of loot, so. Organization! Okay, that's starting to lose a bit of its flair, I think. And then it's spell learning time. Summon Fire Beetle, Druid Hex, Ironwood Heart, Mist Cloak, Twilight Orb, Pocket Furnace, Firebolt, Reversal, Frost Ray, and Ward. Starts with Day 192, I did some cleaning up around the base. Gotta have it pretty before day 200. And while I'm doing this, if you'll just indulge me for a second, I just want to say thank you for the support on that last video. It means the world to me that you guys like what I made. And I hope you enjoyed this one as well, even though we're not done yet. And if you did enjoy, then hit that like button and let me know in the comments below. All right, enough mushy talk. Seven days to go. I thought I'd head to the mob grinder one last time and get a couple levels. It was fun, kind of nostalgic. Then, as I was bouncing home, I jumped right onto a dragon. And I guess someone must have put tungsten in my Cheerios because I had balls of steel and shot at the dragon. And to my surprise, it froze her. Then the fight was on, strafing, shooting, running, and repeat. Only thing is, I forgot to mute my mic, so uh, we have this audio now. Ah, he's frozen. What now, you stupid bitch dragon, unloved by your parents? Yeah, you think I forgot about the fact that you're unloved? Oh no, I'm unmuted for this. <laughs> it took all night and half of the next day, but gods can bleed, and bleed they did. The dragon died and I collected her heart. Gods can bleed! <laughs> I made a fireplace mantle for their heart and sat back admiring my handiwork. Enough playing games. It's time to prepare because tomorrow we go into the Twilight Forest for the last time. So. With every head of every boss, we are now allowed to enter the Thornlands, but the thorns will block our way. You'd think you could just jump over it, but the acid rain acts like a force field. So I had to go into that troll cave with the giant pickaxe I got from the clouds. I spent all day looking around for this, and I was worried that I'd run out of time, but at the end of day 198, I found it. I broke in with the giant's pickaxe and took the lamp of cinders. Then I went home. Tomorrow, we storm the final castle. Using the Lamp of Cinders, I burned away to the final castle. Now, if you don't think I'm about to just launch myself up to this castle, you're batshit crazy. Once I made it to the top of this place, it looked beautiful. But I was a man on a mission, and not even these new enemies can stop me. Also, can we talk about how awesome these doors are? Like, I, I want this for my base for 300 days. Like, totally, 100%. Anyways, back to Sirius, my bad. This place was even guarded with me giants. That's okay though, Engraved Thunder and Dusk Flame got this. Finally, at the end of day 199, I made it to the arena of the final boss and... Yeah, they never programmed a final boss for this mod, so that's the end of the Twilight Forest. We've conquered it, but that's a little bit of a cop-out. So, day 200, I built a platform, placed all my trophies of all the bosses I've toppled, and took some glamour shots. You can, Portal! You can! It works! My Portal gun works! Ah! I don't know how, but my portal gun works! 
Day 100, we didn't even have netherite. And by day 200, we are dual wielding a flamethrower and a portal gun. I'd say we've made a lot of progress. But there's still a lot of stuff to do in this mod pack, like go into space. And if you want to see me do that for 300 days, then make sure to subscribe and leave a like on this video. But for now, with the Twilight Forest conquered and me soaring around the final castle in the glider I made on day 101, my name has been Eclipse, EQ for short, and thank you for watching. <laughs>